Hello and welcome everybody, Adam the Silly Host is here and this is Chicken Police. The third episode where we arrived at the Sar Bar. So... There are many things to do here. I mean, I know that what we actually have to do, but let's look around. Uh, fancy whiskey. Well, let's start with that, shall we? Hmm. Look, uh, Sonny, I know it's not my place, but Laura's father went to that guy when his, you know, problems uh, had gone too far. You're treading on thin ice, Marty. No, I just... <laughs> Look, fellas at the station are talking, you know? All kinds of things. Moses, Plato, Bosco, and the others. Talking, eh? About what? About why Blood Boil took my badge? About what an untrustworthy alcoholic wreck I am? Probably. Look, uh, I'm sorry, it doesn't matter. Good. And let it stay that way. <laughs> At least we're cracking this one together, yeah? Sure, Marty. So, let's talk to the horse. A man's best friend. Uh, that's not a dog, Sonny. That's a horse. <laughs> he just has a very weird mane. No, Sonny has I his didn't ride. mean him, Marty. I meant the bar. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah, because that totally makes sense. <laughs> Two whiskeys, kid. And no horsing around. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. <laughs> uh, Sonny, you gotta drive, you know? Yeah, you're right, Marty. Hey, long face, give me a glass of tap water, too, okay? Yes, sir. Coming right up. That wasn't exactly what I meant. He has nice hair. Me saying that while I am a bald guy. First for problems. Ah. Tell me, hey breath, have you seen Natasha tonight? <laughs> Not Dude, yet, sir. Why are you racist? Coming on, sir. To a random bartender. Or can you tell me anything about Mr. Ibn Wessler? Sir, I I don't want to. What about let's see, five dollars maybe? <laughs> but sir, you haven't even paid for your drinks yet. Yeah, yeah, stop riding on the details, big nose. You do your job, and we'll do ours, okay? I mean, we're not here for work, of course. We're just here to relax. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, exactly. Just a little fun. Of course, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, but we oh. have to run. Uh, thanks anyway, Bojack. <laughs> oh, my name is not Bojack. <laughs> Bojack. Yeah, I Tip you, pal, but I don't have any change, so... Sure, sir. The Tsar welcomes you back anytime. Sounds good, Bojack. His mouth movement is awful. Anything else, sirs? Uh, no thanks, Mr. Ed. Keep up the good work. Okay, so... Uh, let's leave the poor horse alone. Let's check what this guy is. Hey, there's Philmar. Who? Oh, yes. Philmar. Because that's what he calls himself, right? You know him well? We had some seriously wild cases together, yes. Mainly in Averia, way before Clawville. Another place and another life. Sounds good. Like the blurb of some cheap pulp fiction book. So he's a foreigner, yeah, or... and was the exact opposite. But the old bird's worth saying hi to. I don't really understand the lore. Well, well, if it isn't the great detective, Marlowe. Blow me, Sonny. You know I don't use that name anymore. Okay, Mr. Dumbass alias Phil Marlowe. 
So says someone who tried to go undercover with a Feather Pillow Mafia is a turkey. Right, Mr. Turk Cayman? Hey, that was a long time ago. I was young. And I stick to my principles and my stupidity. Phil Marlowe and that's that. Don't rile me up, you old fart. Okay, okay, fair enough. Sorry, I'm a little clucked tonight. Uh, I know the feeling, pal. By the way, what are you two doing here? You stick out a bit. Are you here for a good old-fashioned beating? We stick out? Man, you look terrible. Like someone who sat on an electric pole. <laughs> Don't even ask. I feel exactly like that. <laughs> you want a case? Five feet tall, half of that legs. Angelic voice, demonic eyes. Just the usual. Oh, oh boy. boy. And you? Something like that. Just don't know the exact numbers yet. A dame named Natasha. She called us here. If I'm not mistaken, the joint is hers. Yeah, she owns the joint, amongst others. Well, good luck, guys. That broad has a reputation. She's not the kind to toy with, if you know what I mean. Any useful information? For free? Stop clucking around, Philmar. All right, but just because of the old days. Look for me after you've talked to her. You wouldn't understand what I have to say about her before then. Don't leave unless you're thrown out, in which case, you know the drill. We don't know each other, I'll deny you in a blink. Good to see you too, old pal. We'll be back. Oh, what happened now? I want to talk to the other guys. Wait, the rat. I know the rat. That's the gangster. Olivia Eben Henchman. Okay, let's go through. Uh, just one more thing, Philmar. <laughs> I see you haven't changed a bit. Do you yeah. think we're walking into a trap? You always had good instincts. You know, I couldn't figure out this Natasha woman. Even when I worked for her. Then the trouble is bigger than I thought. Just take care of yourselves, and don't leave your guns out of reach. Oh, that's never happened. Yeah, this crazy cock even sleeps with his. Welcome to the club, Brother Bird. Take care, Phil. You too, old fart. <laughs> she has pretty long legs. I mean, pretty and long legs for a squirrel, but I don't want to be prejudiced. We're not here to stare at pretty rabbit? squirrels. We're here to investigate, remember? Let me see. I... Well, the ears... Yeah, a little rabbity, but yeah. Now that for a second look uh, she... That girl is looking at me. Yeah. She's okay. just looking at anyone whose glass is empty, Marty. That's all. Uh, no, 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 Sonny. She was staring at me like hard now i saw it marty you're imagining things oh wait a second did you see that right she's looking right at us with those big black weird squirrel eyes okay marty don't panic and just look elsewhere and walk away slowly creepy little squirrel girl creepy little squirrel girl <laughs> so where the hell is natasha Let's ask that stud over there with those nice gals. Uh, that guy looks way too horny for my taste. <laughs> oh, man, your sense of humor is bad as ever. You just oh, need to get spots. used to it again. What if... Uh... Ah, this is the life, huh? What's this guy do? Real estate? Mob accountant? Or is he a movie star? He looks like a coat hanger to me. Uh, that was... <laughs> actually worse than the previous joke. True. Eh, I try. True. Okay, I can talk to her stage. I was hoping to have missed the main event. You're a rusty old cock, that's why. <laughs> so says the little butt jam. But what? That's not even a word. <laughs> it is now, all because of you. You should feel honored. <laughs> butt jam. Uh, you know, Sonny, uh, sometimes you're like an evil oh, yeah. little child. Can I tr take screenshots here? What is it, Butt Jam? <laughs> Nothing, old fart. 
Oh, F9, F9. Okay, I will just need some screenshots for later. Like... Yeah, that's so... A fox is a wolf who sends flowers. What? what? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I read it somewhere. Fascinating. I didn't know you could read. Ha ha ha. Very funny. I can't even click on those. This guy is certainly not a gangster henchman. Of course he's not. Hey, Marty, I bet you wouldn't dare to go up to him and ask if he hasn't seen your fur coat. What? Why? I'm mad, yeah, but not suicidal. Ah, are you chicken or what? Piss <laughs> off, old bird. <laughs> nah, chicken you shit. A chicken McFly. <laughs> that woman with Ibn, I think I know her from somewhere. Maybe in your dreams, pal. Isn't that... Yes, it is. The great Ibn Wessler, in the flesh. So much for our incognito. You think he noticed us? Only if he's not entirely blind. Ah, uh, great. <laughs> right, so... People... Archibald... Places. Nothing new. Let's try to talk just to act you. nonchalant, my friend. No, it can't be. What now? Is that Olivia? No, Marty. Hey, uh, Olivia. Are you talking to me? It's me, Marty McChicken. Oh God. What a pleasant surprise. The rooster coppers in person. <laughs> Chicken police. But yeah, Mr. Wester could say so. The name's... Sunny Featherland, of course, of course. Chicken police. Your partner is... Uh, he is... Uh... Marty McChicken, sir. I, I just introduced myself to your lady companion seconds ago. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy to see you. Hello, boys. So... To what do we owe this pleasure, gentlemen? Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> we, we were, um, just in the neighborhood, and... Cut the crap, Marty. All right, we're here for your sweetheart, Natasha. Oh, I see. No big deal. Just a blackmail thing. You know, horrifying threats written on the wall with blood-red paint. The usual stuff. You must be familiar with this kind of thing. Oh, yeah, indeed. It's, uh... Nasty business. But I didn't know Natasha hired a detective because of this simple matter. But to be honest, I understand. I would have taken matters into my own hands, you see. But I'm kind of busy. Mr. Wessler had a meeting with Attorney General Hamtaro yesterday, so he's rather tired. If you would excuse us. Oh, dear Olivia, it's okay. These gentlemen are just doing their job, right? And if I've heard correctly, they're notoriously thorough. So, how can I help you? We've got a few questions, if you don't mind. I'm at your service. Hmm. Nice bunker you got here. Well, thank you, but it's not mine. Not anymore. But I'm sure you already know that. <sighs> Listen, detective. If you want to know something, please ask straight, huh? All right, Mr. Wessler, let's make this a bit more professional. I'm not as exciting as people tend to believe. I grew up in a poor family of many siblings. I'm the only one still alive, unfortunately. My career started with a shoe store, and now, here I am. More like church I wouldn't place. call that an average life. Shoe store owner to mob boss. How dare you speak to Mr. Wessler like that? Leave it, Olivia, dear. It's just provocation. 
I'm sorry if I offended you, Mr. Wessler. Shall we talk about something else? Everybody knows Mr. Hayworth. He's an antique piece of furniture in this city, so to speak. Only a bit worn out. It's not my fault that he's so much in debt, Detective, but the name of his family still rings quite loud in Clawville. Is that still worth anything? The name is just a name, of course, but the man behind the name is another matter, Mr. Featherland. Again, You're a pragmatic sus. rat. Thank you. Look, Detective, if you want to know something, just ask. All right, Mr. Wessler. Has your assistant been working for you long? Are you talking about me? Yes, I'm talking about you, ma'am. Let me answer your question, then. Oh, just, uh, routine oh. questioning, you know. Most of Has your assistant been working for you long? Are you talking about me? Yes, I'm talking about you, ma'am. Let me answer your question, then. I've been in Mr. Wesley's employment for six months. Why do you ask? Oh, just, uh, routine questioning, you know. Most of them aren't good for anything. Just killing time. It sounded <laughs> rude to me. Yeah, please forgive a detective. Olivia's a real firecracker. Hmm. Wessler's a tricky guy. Unfortunately, oh. I don't know enough about him, so I have to be cunning. I can't just pin him against a wall. Yet. I am starting out with minus. How did you feel when you heard about the blackmail? Honestly, I found it ridiculous. And now? Now I'm kind of interested. But I wouldn't call it blackmail yet. They're just empty threats. There were no demands. Good point. Thank you. Are we done? No, not quite. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> At least he's honest. Why didn't you just call the police? Huh? Why? What would have been the use of that? A few messages aren't enough for a case. You should know that. Harassment makes for a case. So do threats. Who were you trying to convince, Sonny? Huh? They would have laughed in my face. Anyway, you know... The police station. Once I set foot in there, nah, I'm not coming out again. Your lawyers are too good for that, Eben. Yeah, I guess you're right, chicken. <laughs> oh, that was a bad question. Yeah? Why would anyone have reason to blackmail your girlfriend? I don't know. Uh, maybe because she's my girlfriend? You think that's enough? It's plenty enough. Good point. Oh, are you finally getting to a point? Or do you really want to dig around in my private life? Because, uh, people who do that end up in the alley, if you catch my drift. Very much so, Mr. Wessler. Wessler is tougher than I thought, and he's secretive. It's time to gently beat around the bush. Were there any similar incidents in Natasha's past? I mean, threats, blackmail, enemies, or insane fans. Psychopath pianists, perhaps. Eh, I don't know about enemies, but she's a celebrity. A star shining bright in Clawville's night sky. Do you understand? She gets endless fan mail. It could be anybody. Eh. I wouldn't overreact. Natasha doesn't feel that way. I've noticed. Do you think one of her fans is the culprit? Someone who can't take rejection, maybe? Why not? It's quite common. It's a typical motive, indeed. Any ideas who it could be? Yeah. Attorney General Hamtaro is obsessed with Natasha. But he's, uh, more like the kiss on the hand, flowers bowing type. Throwing bricks through the window is not his style. <laughs> I can't think of anybody else. 
Or rather, I can think of everybody else. About half the city, actually. I get it. Have there been similar threats in the past? Right to the point, yeah? Yeah, I get it. But sadly, this is a dead end, my friend. No, no threats like these, uh, whether you believe it or not. Well, it really seems like a dead end, so I'll just back up and try from a different angle. You do that. The mob boss and the pussycat, eh? How did you even meet? Huh? Are you trying to piss me off, Corpora, so I accidentally let some big secret slip out, huh? A simple answer would work. <sighs> you know, Natasha, she's both connoisseur and muse. Uh, uh, hmm. So, uh, how was it? Uh, now, when was it exactly? You don't remember. That's strange. Ah, yeah. The millions, of course. It was like another lifetime. It happened right here. Only this place was called the millions back then. Hm. She was a dancer. Behind the scenes, I arranged opportunities for her on the big stage. Yeah, maybe she still doesn't know it was me. Then one day, I invited her for a drink with a promise that if she was willing to meet me, I'd buy the place for her. Now, I guess she was willing. The next day, she had the club in her name. Wow. Well, that is romantic. Yeah, there are many kinds Someone of romance, Birdman. Give me a club. There's cheap uh, and there's expensive. <laughs> you get what you can afford. <laughs> Do you live in the same house as Natasha? Oh, you're really something. Natasha's a free woman, but mostly, yeah, at Old my town. place in Gold Town. But she has her own kind of a weekend house. Mm. How often does she use the weekend house? Weekends? Yeah, every other weekend. Roughly. I see. That's very important information. Yeah, if you say so. So Natasha feels like she's in grave danger. Yet, she's still going out alone. Yeah, I know what you're getting at. But I'm 100% sure of her loyalty. She's gone out very rarely since this started, and mostly in my company. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure if you do, but uh, in our social circles, banquets and dinners are frequent. Hmm, <laughs> illegal gambling nights. <laughs> you got me there. Yeah, you're right. Natasha is crazy by the roulette wheel. Always putting it all on the red, right? Yeah, you're a real rotten bastard, Sonny. Although, yeah, always on the red. Yeah, right. So, can we meet your lady? Mm, I don't see why not. But first, please, listen to her sing. She's on soon. Oh. Wow. Actually got five stars. Thank you for your time. We'll be seeing you. I have no doubt about that, unfortunately. Hey, uh, we should uh, grab a coffee or something, Olivia. You know, for old time's sake. Pleasure to meet you, gentlemen. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Please, take a seat. The show's gonna start soon. Wow. making some uh, photos, screenshots that I can use on YouTube and whatnot <coughs> for science.
Sonny. Dude, you still have a life. Sonny. And a kid. Probably they would love to. <laughs> and it's dead. Can't see chickens, right? That was um, unique. Oh, that is cute. Nobody has ever given me such a unique compliment before. Uh, forgive <laughs> me, my name is Santino Featherland. I thought so. You look more or less like I imagined. More or less? Sometimes less is more, Mr. Featherland. Oh. Ahem. You were amazing, dear. As always. Could you be my little furball and fetch me a cocktail? But of course. Cocktail. Eden will be back soon. <laughs> we'll have a few minutes to talk. Then he'll end the conversation and throw you both out. <laughs> With all due respect, ma'am, we're not that easy to get rid of. Doesn't matter who's trying, believe me. <sighs> Doesn't matter, he'll do it. That's why I'm telling you. I don't want a scene. My room's upstairs. Meet me there in 20 minutes. Come alone, Sonny. You'd be too conspicuous otherwise. Hey! I understand. You know, they call him Target Marty at the station. <laughs> I don't have time, Mr. Featherland. Uh, sure thing, Natasha. I'll come to your room. Three knocks, a short pause, then another three. I'll be waiting. Go, before he comes back. I knew she was trouble the first time I saw her. She wore danger like a perfume. It was simply part of her being. And it attracted me, like light attracts the moth people. I wanted to be the microphone as she whispers her melodies. Or the pillow she rests her feet on while reading some cheap romance. I wanted to be her nightdress, barely touching, barely covering her marble skin. But I was a cop. And a lifetime wouldn't be enough to rid myself of what a woman like her hides under her makeup. Keep your distance, Sonny. Just keep your distance. a uh, unique picture and kind of daring I admit I've never seen anything <laughs> quite like it before yes I admit it's a little daring I keep it it evokes good memories a precious old friend of mine a most wonderful artist he's got an eye that's for sure considering his model was that supposed to be some kind of compliment? I don't know. I don't compliment often. Not on purpose, anyway. Oh, you're funny. <laughs> this woman's aware of her charm, and she knows how to use it. A rare and dangerous combination. you spend a lot of your time staring into the mirror do you even recognize yourself maybe you were trying to be rude but you know that's a very good question mm -hmm. I was just trying to be rude oh, <laughs> really? well then I'm sorry don't mention it okay I don't think I can do anything else but this woman's aware of her charm. Yeah, you said that already. How do you like your bourbon, Mr. Featherland? In a glass. But thanks, I had a couple before I came. I feel like this may be a long night. 
I hope it doesn't bother you if I have one myself. I get offended if women don't drink in my company. Oh, you are a funny guy. So I've been told. Anyway, uh, lovely room. Yes. Look, Mr. Featherland. It's sunny. Saves us a lot of time. Okay, Sonny. So, why am I here? You know, men tend to babble in my presence. It must be exhausting. <laughs> it is. But you're not the type to beat around the bush. Is it too banal if I tell you it's an occupational hazard? Terribly. So can I start the unpleasant questions? I've asked you here so you can do what you do best. Really? I thought you asked because you wanted me to investigate for you. But if you'd rather be drinking... Oh, you do have a sense of humor. How reassuring. Only if I'm a bit hungover. That's usually quite common. Oh, please drop the act about being the alcoholic, heartbroken ex-cop, Sonny. It would undoubtedly suit you, but um, I've seen you scanning my room. From the second you set foot in here, you started working, and everything I say gets sorted in your brain. Am I right? Pretty much. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, it's something like that. Well then, Sonny, come at me. Oh, oh that's something I don't hear often. With pleasure. Start questioning her. There's no more people. Lydia, even. Okay. No new places. Okay, let's. Let's start the questioning, shall we? Natasha is a confident woman. I can exploit that. But I must be careful. Every part of her oozes danger. Obviously. That was a remarkable performance. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Do you perform here frequently? You're also the owner, if I'm not mistaken. Sadly, I don't have the time. But the stage still calls my name, and I perform just a few times a year, and always with a new song. So that was all the excitement. I have many admirers, if that's what you mean. Yes. Mm -hmm. The place is very elegant, and uh, so's your room. Why, thank you. I kind of feel like I'm in a museum. Well, that depends on the kind of museum. The kind with nice things. Oh. Suspiciously nice things, just like you. Do you think I'm suspicious? We'll see about that. Try me. Do you think one of your admirers might be behind the threats? Those who admire me usually idolize me. No, I don't think it's one of them. You know, the soul of an animal is extremely complicated. Sometimes all it takes is a bad look or some small rejection to turn admiration into hate. That's a stillborn theory. No one hates me if they once loved me, Mr. Detective. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. Makes sense. Do you have any material evidence concerning the threats? You may think I'm irresponsible, but I didn't keep any of it. I simply couldn't bear to look at them. Didn't you think maybe the police would need it? I didn't think I needed the police. Moreover, do you think the girlfriend of Ibn Wessler could ever turn to the cops? I see. So, what about me? 
How do I come into the picture? It sounds ridiculous, but you're my last hope. Obi-Wan. That does sound ridiculous, but I accept my ego and uh, old habit. Uh -huh. You can't do anything else, can you? Something like that. Mm. A leopard can't change its spots. Mm. Deep behind the diamond skin lies the truth. It doesn't matter how hard Natasha's trying to hide it. She's scared. Now I must concentrate to finally find out what I want to know. Let's do this. She doesn't look scared to me, and definitely not cold, confident, yes, mysterious, definitely cold, uh, no, what makes you say that, what makes you say that she's cold, I mean, uh, just because she doesn't offer to bed you or what, I mean, <laughs> you just met her, and she's nice. Scared. Uh, well, she turned to a detective, so yeah, we can deduct that uh, in some weird way, but cold? Mm, no. Anyway. What was in those threats, <coughs> exactly? The message itself is not a threat, it's just a word. But a word again and again is threatening. Exactly. So. You really don't have any idea? Which word could be used for a woman like me? I guess I do. Yes, I think I know what it could be. Whore. <laughs> Cat got your tongue? Am I right? <laughs> you heard it. Nice puns. I said what you were thinking. And yes, that was in the message. That was printed on the paper and painted on my wall. In giant red letters. Well, thank you for your honesty. Not lay low, lay low, I think. No one's ever seen the culprit, not even a shadow. That's one of the most curious things. Ibn has men everywhere, literally my shadows, ghosts in every alley, but no one saw anything. One of them could be the culprit. Probably. Ibn pays his animals well, and he's the most dangerous man in the city. A combination that nullifies your theory, I believe? Maybe, ma'am. Love is capable of insane miracles and miraculous insanity. True. What poetry. Did you ever think about writing a book? <laughs> Never. I'm afraid I'd learn too much about myself. Oh. Maybe that's the point. I would read about you. Not like the chicken police bulb fiction. <laughs> Furry hell. Do you read that trash? Like everyone else in the city. Oh, great. I think it's flattering. Even as badly written tales of heroes in the gutter. You enjoy it? Well, just a little, Sonny. Just a little. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm saying. So it's not a fan and not an inside job. Who do you suspect? Aren't you supposed to know that? Usually, yes. But I've got nothing to go on. And you don't have a hunch. Maybe I do. But first, I want to know if you'll even accept my case. I'm here, aren't I? That's true, but I must know if I can trust you. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. I wish it was that simple. Oh. Natasha is a mysterious woman, but I must gouge out I at least I one of her secrets. Pudding. Enough games. It's time to know why I'm here. Let's stop beating about the bush. 
How do you know Molly? I'm prepared for that question, but it's still not easy. You knew very well that if you threw in the name of my wife, I'd come to you, no matter how vague and suspicious the case was. I just want to know if you're simply a manipulator, or you're really that desperate. I really know her. I'm not lying. Oh, really? Hmm. How? Were you a nurse, too? Forgive me, but I don't think so. Don't be rude and so cynical, Sonny. I'm sorry, but that's me when feline claws are at my throat. Molly is an old and good friend of mine. She has nothing to do with this, but I knew that if I didn't mention it to you, you wouldn't have come. Yeah, Natasha, you're right there. Yep. I knew you were a decent fowl, that you would help me. That's what you're famous for. Don't go there. Flattery doesn't work. Look, forgive me. I shouldn't have brought your wife into this. You're right, you shouldn't have. But to be honest, I don't think she's my wife anymore. On paper she is, but I haven't seen her in years. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Really? I did. I knew I checked you out before I sent Deborah. Luck me. This case is getting more and more intriguing. Indeed. <sighs> what exactly do you want from me? You are really as good as they say you are. And I'm not selling lucky dips, Ani. Find them, whoever they are, and... Whatever it takes. Not exactly, but something like that. <laughs> you know, if I didn't see the speck of fear behind the confidence shining in your eyes, I wouldn't take the case. She I'm not afraid. Eyes. You're terrified, Natasha. Don't be ashamed. You must solve this. As soon as you can. Money's not an issue. Just one more thing, Sonny. Natasha? Please, come to 37 Rochester Street in Flower Town tonight. I'd like to show you something that could be of a great help in your investigation. I was afraid sad. this was coming. Why there? Why not here and now? It's something I keep hidden there. I won't take the risk of Ibn or one of his men seeing it. Isn't Ibn too dangerous to keep secrets from? Sonny, a woman is naked without her secrets. Mm. <laughs> I knew you would understand. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I understand everything. So, when do we meet? The night is almost over. I'll be there in an hour. Don't be early, and don't be too late. Look, Natasha. You know... Please, this is very important to me. Sure, I get it. I'll be there. Thank you. Until later, Natasha. Goodbye, Sonny. Now well, let's check the clues. Natasha, what can I say? The weekend house. Okay, we got the key. People. No new people. Places. Oh, there are more places. But I don't see her weekend house. Maybe it will be added after I leave. So far, I am doing good, aside from the first time when I didn't uh, really know how to do this. Questioning points, scenes visited, achievements unlocked, codex entries. I mean, I doubt I can do it to 100%, but who knows. Seriously, how did you find me? Not even my boss knows where I live. 
Although I didn't include Ibn in my little private mission, some of his resources were still available to me. Yeah, let me guess. There's someone at the station working for him. Someone? You're so cute when you're playing naive. Have you ever had dealings with the police? Not in this city. <laughs> and otherwise? Does it really matter, Mr. Featherland? Maybe it does. More than a little. I'm afraid you'll have to unravel that thread yourself. But you will find nothing but a dead end. Or a dead body? Can you Do you me? have a light, Natasha? I'm sorry. I've never smoked. That's a really? Good decision. That's very uncommon in your line of work. It was uncommon in all my previous lines of work, too. But I promise that next time we meet, I'll bring you a box of matches. Mm. <laughs> I might that. take you up on that. <laughs> no trouble at all. Oh, I can ask her. Why did you name it the Czar Club when you took over? It was the millions before. Maybe you can guess my origins from my name and my accent. Mm -hmm. I come from the Eastern Tsardom of Slavonia. We are quite respectful of our leaders. You feel that's not the case here in Clawville? Here? No. Absolutely not, Mr. Featherland. Many here don't even know the name of their king. To them, he's only the Fox King. Fox it's quite king? disrespectful and rude. No, There's I some no truth more. to that. I thought it was Where a lie. from, we choose our leaders ourselves. And whatever they do later, we proudly stand by our decision. So that's why the name, in respect to your country. <sighs> Don't take me for so sentimental. It's only partly the reason. We lived there until I was 14. Then we, we had to flee. It doesn't matter why. In the end, so I was the only flee, one who made it to she respects her country. So uh, the name isn't because of nostalgia or respect. More like a reminder. Oh, okay. Oh, Debbie. So, why Deborah? I could not seek you out in person. It was risky even to send Debbie. It's too late now. Mr. Wessler is aware of my little investigation. I'm sorry I got her mixed up in this. She's a lovely girl. True. She looked like one. Mm, May I be friends. brash? It's New Year's Eve. Everything goes tonight. Oh, really? Ibn, do you love him? In my own way, yes, I do. Whatever that means. I you can't for, understand for this, reason. Sonny. There are women who can't actually love. Not like they're supposed to. But that doesn't mean they don't love however they can. That's Very not a real sir. answer, is it? <laughs> if you only accept yes or no, then yes, I love him. I believe her. So this message... I'm sorry I had to upset you, Sonny. But if I didn't take that step, would we be talking here right now? Well, probably I'd be dead drunk and counting sheep men in my dreams. Sheep I'm good man. for you, you see? Yeah. You're a real sheep angel. Man. Marty McFly. Why just me? What's wrong with my partner? Nothing in the world. I just like to be discreet. I wanted to talk to you in private because of uh, Molly. Uh, well, uh, thank you for your discretion. It, uh, it means a lot. Don't mention it. Olivia. Olivia. Oh, that's the crow lady that was sitting with So, uh, who's this Olivia bird? I know well what you're curious about. You want to know if she's sleeping with Ibn. The no, thought may have so. crossed my mind. You men. But guess what? Maybe she does. You don't care? As long as he loves me, I don't. Well, that's your business. What do you know about her? She's not the one threatening me. You can be sure of that. I know that was your next thought. 
The lovesick assistant is jealous of the boss's girlfriend and wants to flick her out of the picture. It would even stand up, but Olivia doesn't have feelings. If she let Eben sleep with her, it's because she does what he says, nothing more. It was so honest and raw, I'm inclined to believe it. <laughs> okay. Do we have anything else? Do you have a light, Natasha? I'm sorry. I've never smoked. Really? That's very uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> she said this already. Let's check the book once again. People. Personally. Added to the codex. Hector the third. <laughs> oh, it's going to foxing is the third member of the Folux Folux dynasty of the communists. I mean, it's interesting that a uh, that a uh, city state has a king. I mean, it's plausible, of course, if especially it was established like 900 years ago from modern times but still still okay what do we have here hmm come to daddy darling oh that's booze so I have the key okay I don't think I have anything else to do but Let's just double check. Do you have a light, Natasha? No. Okay, I think... Calling Boo's darling, it's kind of weird, don't you think? Says someone who calls his gun collection his harem. Touche. It's harem. I'll shut it. Good birdie. <laughs> well? Weren't you supposed to be waiting in the car? I was bored to tears, Sonny. I also thought maybe something happened to you. You oh. thought Natasha had eaten me alive, huh? Probably. Well, who knows? You're such a fragile little thing. I'm too old for this, Marty. Then next time, leave the dangerous predators to me. I didn't mean that, Marty. I meant you. Oh. <laughs> exactly. Oh, the dude is still here. Let's see, what can we do here, Olivia? Oh, Eben is gone. Excuse me, pal. My name is Santino Featherland. Eh? Gabriel, what do you want? Chickens. <laughs> do you happen to know where Mr. Wessler went? Do you take me for a fool? Get out of here while I'm in a good mood, birds. <laughs> okay. Thanks, big boy. Ooh. Oh, it's you. How can I help you, gentlemen? Look, we really don't want to dig into your personal life, but... But what exactly is my relationship with Mr. Wessler? And how close am I to him? You yeah. don't beat around the bush, ma'am. This beat well, around actually, the bush I remember. every fifth sentence. I don't sentence have time to chit-chat, Mr. Bush. Featherland. So yes, I'm not one to beat around the bush. And no, I'm not Again? sleeping with Mr. Wessler. <laughs> well, thanks for the uh, quick and straight answer. Anything else? Oh, I can ask. That's good, that's good. Do you come here often, Olivia? No, not really. Well, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> you know, Ibn's not as ferocious as you'd think. On the contrary, he's become very different recently. I heard. 
Don't you find that weird? A sudden change of heart? Sometimes an animal just has enough. Fed up and wants a change. I deeply respect that. Well, thank you for your honesty, ma'am. What's your relationship with Miss Natasha Katsenko? We've talked a bit, that's all. There's no uh, tension between you? You know, the pretty secretary. Well, thank you for your compliment, Mr. Featherland. No, no tension. Natasha's an intelligent woman. I respect her. Is that mutual? That I can't tell. If I'm not mistaken, Natasha has a weekend house in Flowerville. Yeah, that's right. Can you tell me anything about it? I've never been there. Allegedly, it's beautiful. Elegant and luxurious. Just like Sometimes Natasha herself. Sometimes the voice and the subtitles are not the same. I wonder why. Look, uh, Olivia, you know, last time... Please, Marty, there's no need. Yes, there is. I know I wasn't a gentleman, and I know I should have called you, but I was young and... You don't have to explain. I wasn't waiting long for your call. I forgot about it fast. <laughs> That's good to hear, I suppose. I'm sorry we disturbed you. Not at all. Have a nice evening, gentlemen. Okay, that's all there. Why are they standing apart now? This can be movie posters. Huh, another lupus movie. Jeez, is there nothing today they're not trying to sell with this guy? <laughs> Whoa, don't be rude, Sonny. Lupus is a timeless genius. Have you seen Predator City? God, I'm still getting chicken bumps. <laughs> Wait, who's that next to him? Cassandra Ruby Fay. Nah, never heard of her. Cassandra Ruby Fay. Oh, gods, even her name makes me go weak in the knees. Watch your blood pressure, pal. I mean, don't mind me. He has a Just girlfriend. Women and guns are my only weakness. <laughs> still, like, no shit. He sees a woman, he's like, oh, all horny and stuff. You think this is one of those movies where the femme fatale gets everything in the end and the poor detective's left stranded? Yeah, Ooh. just like life. Revelation. Revelation. Ooh, I've seen this. Hicks Poodle plays a private eye, hired to look for a woman, then gets into some kind of blackmail thing that's connected to the first case, and... Hey, uh, Marty? What, yeah? I don't give a shit. <laughs> Ooh, a horse. Oh, I know this fodder guy. He was kind of good in Death of the Horse. <laughs> You've seen every cluckin' movie. You know, Laura and I go to the movies a lot. When was the last time you went? Exactly 12 years ago. Whoa. Oh, you remember that precisely? Let me guess. Molly. Molly? Yep, our very first date. I see. What did you watch? I don't remember. <laughs> I just remember her. And nothing else. Mm. You're a clucking poet. I mean it. Yep. Is there another one? No. Nothing here. Fox remember Hill. that old case with the fox and the raven? How could I even forget? God, absurd, right? All that bloodshed for a piece of cheese. Oh, yeah. that's fable. Hunger can bring out the monster in animals, <laughs> right? And the wildest and most primordial instincts, no matter how civilized they seem. Yeah. As you say, Marty. Stage. No? Ah, this is the life, huh? Uh, big buck, we had that already. Waitress, Filmar. Uh, hey, Big Nose, where did Mr. Wessler go? Unfortunately, I don't know, Big Faith, but yeah. I wouldn't tell you even if I did. Really? Say, did anyone ever tell you that you're an irritating piece of sh... <clears throat> uh, anything else, dear sirs? It's interesting that they are so rude to the uh, 
bartender. I mean, pretty much for no reason, but anyway, let's get back to film. So, have you talked to Natasha? In fact, yes. She was uh, kind of mysterious. I bet she was. You know, I've never abandoned a case before. Not voluntarily, anyway. But that woman... You're uh, too old for this shit, huh? <laughs> As you say, pal. That's exactly how I felt, too. Before you leave, take this and examine it closely. What is it? The reason I've decided all of this is not worth it for me. Wow, that sounds encouraging. Take care of yourselves, guys. This case, maybe it goes deeper than you'd think. Oh, that makes my feathers stand on end. Ah, old croakers. You're safe while I'm here. <laughs> okay, okay, I didn't say anything. Okay, I can ask. Oh, I have to. Gabriel. The Bobcat is most likely a goon. Yeah, of course it's a goon. It's kind of obvious. Okay, nothing here. What did he give us? What's this? We stepped into it, didn't we? We stepped into it, didn't we? Those are like names and some sort of numbers. I don't know what numbers can be. They are not phone numbers. I mean, not like from this game. They don't seem to be like money. I don't know. Anyway. Of all that's furry, what kind of a list is this? Huh. Exactly. I have no idea, but I don't even want to find out. Those names. All top dogs. Maybe they play cards together. Sure, that's very likely. Anyway, I pried this list out of a dead man's hand. Ooh. Somebody dropped him outside the forest, a few miles from the Wessler residence. Mm. I should have known she was keeping secrets. Keeping secrets? She's the secret herself. Thanks, Filmar. This could be important. Uh, don't thank me. Maybe I've just signed your death warrant. Oh, thank you, sir. Ah, oh, shut up, Marty. So far, the rabbit, uh, Luis, he's the most sus for me. And yeah, uh, Natasha is sus too. So, let's... The truth is, Ibn's a dirty bastard, but he's likable. It must be his charisma that snared Natasha. Maybe there's more to it than simple wild love. Who knows? Animals commit the dirtiest of deeds for wild love. Hmm. You've got a point. We stepped into it, didn't we? That's an understatement. All of these names... Belong to the upper crust. Yeah, I noticed. It's only some sex cult, if you're lucky. <laughs> hmm. Don't even go there, Marty. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, I... Uh, uh, I was Marty for a couple of seconds. <laughs> Wonderful girl. Either I'm gonna kill her or I'm beginning to like her. That's funny, I swear I've heard that before. Huh, to be honest, me too. So, Natasha invited us to her weekend house. That's either very good news or very bad news. 50%, that's not that bad, is it? That's an admirable attitude. <laughs> attitude, yeah, he's got that. Most of the time, I think that's all he's got. Hey! Who is this woman, anyway? She's like Ibn Shadow. Nobody knows anything about her. I don't know if she has anything to do with the case, but it's worth keeping an eye on her, anyway. Uh, more women? You already fantasizing. <sighs> Even the sight of young women make me tired. Anyway, most people say she's the rat's lover, too. But next to Natasha, I doubt he'd want her. Anyway, the pussycat would have already torn her to shreds. Could be. Take care of yourself, old bird. <laughs> You're one to talk. Got the list. Nothing else here. Oh, the 
weakened house. Okay, I think uh, yeah, I have nothing else to do here. So yeah, I think that I will leave the game here because there's another hour passed. Just let's get to the weekend house. Well, if there's one thing I'd learned during 20 years of detective work, it's that if someone wants to meet you at a remote location at night, you should bring an army for backup. One time, me and Marty were stupid enough to underestimate a situation like that, and we never really recovered. And yet, here we were again, about to step alone into something hauntingly familiar. Only one tactic remained, as the old dogs say. Balls to the wall. <laughs> Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. I wouldn't say I like it either. Let's take a look around before we go inside. Textbook. I'm telling you, it's a trap. Shut up, Marty. Who? <laughs> yeah, the bird. That's so cool. Oh, shoe. Car train. Trunk. Speak. Anyway, uh, I will leave this here. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like this, then please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you everybody for being here. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.